Good afternoon. Will you please rise for the presentation of the colors by the Wing Walker Honor Guard and remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Ms. Lucy Logan. Ooh. 
whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming in the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting Thank you. Please be seated. Oh, sorry. I'm Ken Manning, Senior Associate Dean for Faculty and Research in the College of Business. On behalf of Colorado State University, its faculty, staff, administration, and students, I welcome you to this Fall 2021 Commencement Ceremony for the College of Business. The mission statements of Colorado State University and the College of Business both recognize our unique history as a land-grant university. That mission is built on the principles that people with the talent and motivation to earn a degree from a world-class university, regardless of their background, race, gender, sexual orientation, social status, religion, or beliefs, deserve that opportunity. And that by providing this opportunity, we allow them to improve not simply their own, their lives and those of their families, but through the ripples their lives will create to also improve and strengthen our society as a whole. Because the first word in land grant university is land, it is also incumbent on us to recognize where that land came from and how that history permeates everything we do. As such, Colorado State University acknowledges with respect that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral homelands of the Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and peoples. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other native tribes. We recognize the indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to their traditional homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is founded as a land-grant institution, and we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion, and significantly, that our founding came at a dire cost to Native nations and peoples whose lands this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibility, and commitment. As part of that recognition, we are all here today to honor you, our graduates, and to celebrate with you your success and completion of your rigorous degree programs. We who are not graduating also have a cause to celebrate in our own right for a new cadre of business practitioners are about to begin a life of contribution to our culture and our society. I would now like to introduce those seated on the platform. As I call each name, I ask that you rise and remain standing Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. It is a privilege for the College of Business to have with us today Patrice Palmer, Assistant Dean for Social and Cultural Inclusion, Dr. Lisa Kutcher, Chair, Department of Accounting, Dr. Leo Vijay Sarathi, Chair, Department of Computer Information Systems, Dr. Hilla Skiba, Chair, Department of Finance and Real Estate, Ms. Diana Prieto, Vice President for Equity, Equal Opportunity, and Title IX. Dr. Blanche Hughes, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Susan Galicich, Chair, Department of Management. Dr. Dave Gilliland, 
Chair, Department of Marketing, Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Tillman, Army ROTC, Dr. Don Michaels, Director of the University Honors Program, Mr. Bert Dines, Clinical Professor of Management and Alumnus, Ms. Joyce McConnell, President, Colorado State University, Ms. Zubaida Bai, Commencement Speaker, Dr. Beth Walker, Dean, Dr. Paul Millette, Associate Dean for Undergraduate Programs, Ms. Ali Staus, Fall 2021 MBA graduate and student speaker, Dr. Travis Maynard, Associate Dean for Graduate Programs, and Ms. Jane Rhodes, Board of Governors, Colorado State University System. And, and, In addition, I would like to introduce our announcers, Dr. Vicki Badelschmidt, Professor of Finance and Real Estate, and Dr. Margarita Link, Professor of Accounting. <laughs> Thank you. I'd, I'd also like to acknowledge that uh, our announcers, Dr. Vicki Badelschmidt and Dr. Margarita Link, uh, are retiring this month after both serving the College of Business in Colorado State University for over 30 years. Their legacy is substantial and we thank them and we'll miss them. Also, I'd like to introduce our interpreters for the hearing impaired, Sean Fast and Sarah, Sarah Mahati. Graduates and guests, join me in acknowledging and thanking the platform party. Thank you. You may be seated. Parents, family, and friends of this graduating class, like you, we are very proud of our graduating students. They have dedicated years of their lives in pursuit of a life-changing accomplishment. Graduates, there is no doubt all of you are experiencing a variety of emotions today. A sense of accomplish accomplishment for all that you have achieved, a sense of anticipation for all that the future holds, and a sense of gratitude for all who have helped you in your journey. All of these emotions are well justified, and I join you, especially in acknowledging with gratitude the many people who helped you get where you are today, the members of your family who supported you and sacrificed for you, the friends and partners who sustained you, and the faculty members who challenged you and motivated you. I would like to ask the members of our faculty and professional advising and career management staffs to stand. The College of Business is an AACSB accredited institution, putting it among the top 5% of business schools worldwide, which is due in large measure to the efforts of the individuals standing before you. Please join me in recognizing the talents and dedication of our faculty and staff who have played such an important role in the lives of those graduating today. You may be seated. I now invite Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Tillman to the podium. Good afternoon and thank you for the invitation to today's ceremony. It is my great pleasure to introduce one of today's graduates and one of the newest lieutenants in the United States Army, Second Lieutenant Peter Jurgens. Would you please stand? Lieutenant Jurgens commissioned this morning into the United States Army Reserves as a Signal Corps officer and will begin his career at the Signal Officer Basic Course at Fort Gordon, Georgia. After that, he will be assigned to the 244th Engineer Battalion in Denver, Colorado. Thank you for joining me in that round of applause. At this time, I would also like to ask any other active duty or veteran students graduating to please join Lieutenant Jurgens as he stands. Finally, I'd like to ask any parents or family members who have served our nation to please stand for a final round of it, for a final acknowledgement. Please be seated and thank you for your time this afternoon and go Rams.
Good afternoon. My name is Paul Millette. I'm the Associate Dean for Undergraduate Programs in the College of Business. It's my pleasure to recognize several undergraduate groups for special academic achievement. Candidates for University Honors Scholar have achieved at least a 3.5 cumulative grade point average and have completed a challenging curriculum that includes interdisciplinary honors seminars, honors courses in their major, and a senior honors thesis. These candidates are wearing the distinctive green regalia. Will the candidates for Honors Scholar please rise and be recognized for your outstanding academic achievements. You may be seated. Candidates for graduation with academic distinction have earned this recognition by their outstanding academic performance during their undergraduate years at Colorado State University. Under the academic honors policy established by faculty council, graduation with academic distinction is determined as follows. Those students graduating summa cum laude constitute approximately the top 1% of the class. Those designated magna cum laude constitute approximately the next 3% of the class, and those graduating cum laude constitute approximately the next 6% of the class. The students, these students are wearing gold or green caps and gowns. Will those students graduating with academic distinction please rise and be recognized for your outstanding academic achievements. may be seated. A first-generation college student is one whose parents have not earned a bachelor's degree. An important aspect of Colorado State's mission is access to a high-quality education, so a broad community of students may experience the transformative potential of a college education. The success of first-generation students in our college and at our university is a point of pride for our, our entire faculty and staff. Would all first-generation faculty and staff and students in today's graduating class stand and be recognized? You may be seated. I now invite Associate Dean of Graduate Programs, Travis Maynard, to the podium. Thank you, Paul. Today is my pleasure to welcome students from all of our college's graduate programs, our evening, online, and impact MBA, as well as our masters in accounting, computer information systems, and finance. Each of them has contributed in, to the many recognitions our graduate programs have received over the last two years since we've been together in a live face-to-face -face commencement. The Impact MBA was named the number five better world MBA in the nation and number 20 worldwide. Our, our online MBA was ranked in the top 20, pro, top 20 programs of its kind in the Quacquarelli Simmons ranking and our Masters of Computer Information Systems was ranked number 14 in the United States for veterans by the US News and World Report ranking. These rankings are rewarding but we're most excited when our students succeed. In that light, I would like to recognize a group of Impact MBA students who won the Humanitarian Logistics Challenge a few months ago. This is a contest that focuses on developing solutions to humanitarian logistics problems. These students, Emily Bergman, Tess LaPrey, and Blorinda Vulia, uh, competed and developed a solution for humanitarian logistics problems uh, creating a strategy for providing aid to na natural disasters in Mozambique. Their achievement and hard work embodies our co college's Business for a Better World mission. Another recognition of its outstanding student accomplishment is the LEAD Award. Each commencement, the award is presented to the graduate student who represents leadership, excellence, and academic distinction. Specifically, the LEAD Award recognizes students who've made a significant difference 
in their graduate program through their leadership qualities and academic accomplishments. It's my honor today to present Ali Staus from the Impact MBA program as our fall 2021 Lead Impact recipient. Ali, would you rise? And now I invite Dean Walker to the podium. Thank you so much, Travis. What a wonderful afternoon. After so long, I cannot tell you how great it is to be celebrating commencement in person once again. The last time that we were in Moby Arena celebrating this important day was in fall 2019. I am thrilled we could be together to recognize and celebrate our fall 2021 graduates. As Dean of the CSU College of Business, I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to all of you, class of 2021, well done. Today, you have achieved a tremendous personal milestone whether you are graduating with an undergraduate or graduate degree, whether your educational experience with us was learning in person, online, or, as you know, a combination of both, uh, you completed the final steps of your academic journey from one of the best business schools and universities in the world. Each of your paths to graduation is unique, but every one of you faced challenges along the way. Regardless of the pandemic-induced obstacles that you navigated as you completed your degree programs, you persevered. You not only rose to the occasion, but you thrived. You have shown remarkable resourcefulness and resilience throughout the course of your academic careers. You balanced work and life commitments. You rallied, you adapted, you adjusted to new ways of learning, living, and engaging at home and with the campus community. You learn new ways to look at the world and communicate your ideas. And today, you graduate. Over the years, I have had many conversations with employers about why they return year after year to hire our College of Business graduates. While they talk about your intelligence, your extraordinary work ethic, and your integrity, the quality that truly sets you apart is grit. In one of my favorite books, psychologist Dr. Angela Duckworth suggests that what drives success not only at work, but in life, is not how smart you are or the score that you earned on your last test, but grit, that special blend of passion and perseverance that motivates you to overcome obstacles, to face challenges head on, to not give up no matter what. Today is proof that within each of you resides an inner strength, a determination, grit, that not only got you to the finish line today, but that will enable you to overcome every challenge and achieve every goal that you set for yourself in the future. As a business graduate, you are ready to lead, inspired to innovate by the new realities that confront us, motivated to create new possibilities for a better way of life, driven to use business to create a better world. As you participate in shaping our new future, remember the lessons that you learned from your time at CSU. Years from now, when you share stories about how you graduated during a global pandemic, you won't recall that assignment you didn't turn in because your internet connection failed, or the higher grade you didn't earn because you just couldn't muster any more energy to study for yet another online quiz or meet with that other and complete that other group project. You will remember that special memories that you created with your friends and family during the, your unexpected time together, the acts of kindness that were extended to you from a caring classmate or faculty member, or the simple acts of service that you embraced out of the need to give back to your community. As emerging business leaders, you have the opportunity to invent a new and better future for all of us. In business and in life, remember that taking care of people, of each other, is truly what matters most. Graduates, today marks a tremendous milestone in your lives. Take time to cherish it. Reflect on those who helped you get here this afternoon. Remember the friends and colleagues who supported you and those who brought you coffee for your late night study sessions. 
Thanks to the professors and the College of Business staff who supported you and were invested in your success. And of course, thank your families for the countless big and little ways they contributed to your achievement today. Thank you all, families and friends in the audience today. Today, while you may be leaving campus, remember that you are forever part of a broader RAM alumni community, an exceptional group indeed. The college's achievements are your achievements. You are the foundation of our success, our impact, and our reputation as RAMs. As students and now alumni, your experiences and contributions make us who we are. We are so proud to have you represent our CSU values here in Colorado, across the United States, and around the world. You are the leaders who will determine how we do business for years to come. You have purpose and are committed to using business to create a better world. I look forward to seeing the many ways you will create positive impact and make a difference in your organizations and in your communities. We are counting on you. College of Business graduates, I am extremely proud of all of you. You are remarkable. On behalf of the faculty and staff in the College of Business, congratulations. Each year, our faculty identify an exemplary graduating senior in each of our undergraduate departments who embody extraordinary effort and achievement. These students were chosen because they consistently demonstrated exceptionally high levels of determination and resiliency, which led them to the top of their class in academic performance, leadership, and service to their communities. It is truly my honor to introduce these graduates to you now. For those called, please rise and say standing to be recognized. And please hold your applause until all names have been called. Our uh, outstanding accounting graduate, Anna Bagosh. We can do one clap for Anna. How about that? Computer Information Systems, Nicole Stevenson. Finance and Real Estate, Rachel Salucci. Management, Aiden Hetler. Mar you, you are quick studies. <laughs> Marketing, Aubrey Lawrence. Congratulations to all of you. Now I would like to introduce our student speaker, Allie Staus, who will reflect on her time at CSU. Allie is receiving her Impact MBA degree today, as well as a certificate in carbon management um, she has made her presence felt while here in the College of Business. Allie? Good afternoon. We have all followed different paths to reach this milestone today. You might have been drawn here by the mountains or the faculty or the proximity to your hometown Perhaps it was the deep appeal of attending class on Microsoft Teams every day. Maybe you don't even know how you landed here. I might not know your story, and you might not know mine, but I do know that we're forever connected through our time at the College of Business. Think of all the challenges that we've overcome in the last couple of years. To be sitting here graduating after adapting to all of these unprecedented circumstances, it's pretty remarkable. We're a community who spit into tubes over trash cans week after week. We saw ash raining from the sky from nearby wildfires. We supported local businesses through this pandemic, perhaps a little too well sometime, because why do I have to wait two hours for my crazy Carl's delivery every time? We adjusted to all of these circumstances and still managed to fulfill this major achievement. We have a heck of a lot to be proud of. I believe that each of us is powerful and the things that we do on the small scale reverberate into the wider world. I was walking along the Poudre River a few weeks back and found myself staring at the water and watching how it moved. Pulled by gravity, it cuts around the rocks, wearing them down, reshaping the world around it. Sometimes that water is absorbed into the land, sometimes it turns to ice or vaporizes and moves elsewhere around the world. Water always creates a pathway forward. And today, I'd like to remind you that we humans are mostly made of water. 
we're powerful, and we're resilient. As we step into the next adventure, whatever that is, although hopefully it involves a little bit more sleep, I hope we'll all carry forward the knowledge that we have the capacity and the responsibility to direct our current and shape the world around us. Let me say that again, we're world shapers. To be a CSU College of Business graduate is to be a steward. It's to be purpose aligned and purpose driven. It's to be surrounded by professors who invite you over for donuts or wine or a bike ride because they want to recognize and nurture our potential. To be a CSU College of Business graduate is to show up in the world and help shape it into a kinder, more connected, and more resilient place. So wherever you're heading next, a new office job, a different time zone, a ski lift, a stage, a dodgeball championship, or simply a home for well-deserved rest and reflection, class of 2020, 2021, let's go make some waves. Thank you so much. Well, good afternoon. I am proud to be the president of Colorado State University and get a chance to just claim some of your success. I only say some because you earned it. You all are amazing and you've made me so, so proud. I'm delighted to be here to celebrate all of you today's graduates, tomorrow's leaders, along with all of your friends and families. And I'm thrilled that we're back together. I think for some of us, it's brought tears to our eyes. We're celebrating in person for the first time since 2019. I know how meaningful it is to have the people you care about you and who care about what you've been able to do and what you've overcome, very important to have them here today to mark this day with you. We're here to honor your hard work and to celebrate your academic accomplishments. We're also here to share in the excitement about the bright futures you've built for yourselves here at Colorado State University. Earning a degree has always required hard work and dedication, or as Dean Walker said, grit. But your experience over the past two years came with an array of unexpected challenges. You should take tremendous pride in successfully confronting and overcoming those challenges. In doing so, you demonstrated incredible perseverance, flexibility, and extra effort. Our world has changed significantly in a very short time and will continue to change. Your ability to adapt to these changes has distinguished you here at CSU and will continue to do so as you move forward. When new challenges inevitably arise, you will be able to draw on these experiences and what they have taught you. Your studies have prepared you for many professional possibilities. Among you are wonderful, wonderful, talented experts in multiple areas. The, you will be moving on to careers that perhaps you intend to move on to now. You might also be moving into careers later on that haven't even been invented yet and the knowledge, experience, and expertise you've gained over these past few years have prepared you to lead in the workplace, in your community, and in our world. Our world needs leaders more than ever. I'm so proud to know that you will be among them. So I have a charge for you today. Whatever you do next, wherever your journey takes you, do one thing for yourself, own your brilliance. Our community has a powerful, shining, bold spirit, one of hope and optimism that never will be dimmed by the challenges you encounter. 
It has endured for generations, growing brighter and stronger, particularly in the face of adversity. So let's own that brilliance and shine together today, tomorrow, and far into the future. Each of you always will be a valued member of the Ram family, one of the brilliant minds and great hearts who make up the CSU community that reaches across our nation and around our world. I can't wait to see where your journeys take you and how your CSU education will help make the world a better place. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce this year's College of Business commencement speaker. Zubaida Bai is a 2009 alumna of the College of Business's Global Social and Sustainable Enterprise MBA program. Since graduating, she has established herself as a global leader in addressing the challenges of women and girls. Serving as chair of the Board of Eyes, a company she founded and for which she served as CEO for more than 10 years, Zubaida introduced affordable clean birth, postpartum care, menstrual and newborn kits to address women's health needs in developing nations. Since 2012, the company has sold more than 300,000 kits in 20 countries. Guided by her passion for the global women's health movement, Zabida's vision, entrepreneurial skills, and leadership have been recognized around the world. She has been named a United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Pioneer by the United Nations Global Compact, a fellow in resident as well as a young global leader by the World Economic Forum and a TED speaker. Fluent in eight languages, she has spoken at events for the Pfizer Foundation Women in the World, Women Deliver, and Chicago Ideas Week, among others, while organizations like the USAID and Grand Challenges Canada have shared her story as an example of women's empowerment and sustainable entrepreneurship. Will you please welcome a leader, a CSU alumna, someone whose powerful, shining spirit is changing the world, Zubaida Bai. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you, President McConnell, for that great introduction. I want to start today by saying that you will find many people in your life who will encourage you to be successful. But I want to say here today that I wish that each of you achieve and scale to great heights. When I look back at my own journey, I feel blessed I had a lot of people who believed in me and thought I would be successful. My elders, my peers, my loved ones, just like all of you have here supporting you. My elders and peers saw the passion in me and told me that I can be successful, but no one told me that things could go wrong. No one told me that the best laid plans could ever fail. No one taught me to deal with, to deal with failures. No one taught me that sometimes I have to face challenges head on, and other times I have to adapt. I did not know that I can ask for people for help all the time, and I would get a lot of kind responses. I wish someone also taught me how to deal with success when I got there. Success and what success was was never defined to me. And later I learned that success is small wins. It's your next breath, your next step, your relationships, the company you keep. Success is everything that helps you move forward, but it's also something that helps you force and take a few steps backward when you need to. So my kids have taught me a few core words in Latin, the root words. And one of the words that caught my attention was core, that stands for heart. And it's a word that leads to courage. Brené Brown Brene Brown's work explains the definition of the word courage that has changed dramatically over years. 
It used to be that courage meant expressing yourself honestly and openly about who you are and what you're feeling. Your experience is good or bad, to speak one's mind by telling one's heart. But today we use the courage synonymous to heroism. But real courage, according to Brené Brown, is being vulnerable. And it hits home to me, because I've always been a vulnerable person, but never thought of myself to be courageous. Courageous never meant vulnerability to me. My notion of courage was Supergirl, not Zubeda Bai. In the spirit of courage, I want to convey th three core things, also bringing in the spirit of Colorado here. The first thing, if you're going to climb the highest peak, be prepared to go the distance. Be vulnerable, by which I mean be courageous, and take calculated risks. As one of the few engineers in my field, I got a lot of success earlier on in my life. I developed a lot of products that won a lot of awards, but that was never a success to me. I always received recognition, but I wanted to see my products go into market and be commercially successful. I wanted to do a business, and I wanted to take these products to market, but I knew that the intent for me was to get an MBA and gain those skills. I knew I could never afford an MBA because I was doing social impact work. But then somebody told me about Paulo Coelho and his book, Alchemist. When I read it and I realized that when you have a true intent, the universe conspires to help you achieve it. And lo and behold, I did get an opportunity to come halfway around the world and do an MBA in social and sustainable enterprises here at Colorado State University. I launched my business right after my MBA. I sold my wedding jewelry, and I convinced a lot of mentors and advisors to support me. There was one mentor I really wanted, and I thought if she was on my company's board, my company could gain a lot of success. And she had 15 minutes for me at 3.15 a.m. in the morning. I flew all the way to Boston at 11 p.m., landed at her parents' house, stayed awake all night to get a 15-minute, 3.15 a.m. meeting with her and convinced her to be on my board, which was a huge success for the company. So I want to say, if you're going to climb the highest peak, be prepared to go the distance. My second nugget for today is, there's more than one way to ski down the mountain. Be flexible and feel the sun on your face. I was a student, and I knew I had developed a product at MIT, and I knew it was going to be successful. I did all the research. I had about nine more products in my kitty, and I knew that one of these products was the products that the company was going to use to create impact in a life of a million people. But the market has its ways. None of it worked. And during one of my market research, I ended up having a conversation with a midwife. And in the conversation, I realized that she used an agricultural tool to give birth to a baby and cut the umbilical cord. This was my aha moment as a mother who had struggled with infection after childbirth, having access to best facilities, and as a granddaughter whose grandmother had died during childbirth, I let my vulnerability step in and decided to create a new product after spending two years on the business and starting from scratch. The product I created, Janma, the Clean Birth Kit, today after a decade has impacted over a million lives and it still continues to impact lives of women and girls around the world. To reiterate, there's no one way to ski down the mountain. Be flexible. My last point for today is inspiration can come from the tallest mountain or the tallest skyscraper. I created products for women who are not afraid of being vulnerable. They shared their experiences with me honestly, or should I say courageously, as they could. I've had conversations with thousands of women, some of whom had to remove their uterus to be considered to be competent working with men in the sugarcane industry, and I've met girls who were refused access to school because of maturing into women. I've met women who were blamed for expressing pain during childbirth because they did not have the permission to do so for being poor. My inspiration comes from women and girls that have no voice, and I'm determined to give them access to rights. My inspiration comes from newborn babies that brighten our lives with their selflessness, no matter what our relationship to them is. I want to say that let everything and everyone around you be your inspiration. Give selflessly and inspire others to do so. Again, inspiration can come from anywhere, the tallest skyscraper or the tallest mountain. Your perseverance and attitude will eventually make you scale new heights. 
and the road is often long, twisted, and uphill, but a little bit of courage in the mix is going to take you there. As Aristotle said, excellence is never an accident. It is a result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. It represents the wisest among many options. He also said, choice, not chance, determines destiny. You all chose wisely by choosing Colorado State University. It's not here that you're here by chance. So be courageous, make good choices, and face the world, and celebrate your success today. You're all amazing. Congratulations, class of 2021. And thank you for the opportunity to speak today. Thank you so much, Zubaida. Those were such inspiring remarks, and I appreciate you being here and sharing your insights with us uh, today. We're all very fortunate. President McConnell, will you join me at the podium, please? We're at the point of the program that we've all been waiting for, the conferring of degrees. We will be starting with our undergraduates. Graduates and guests, we will award the various degrees. In this portion of the ceremony, President McConnell will confer the degrees. Students will then approach the platform to receive their diploma. I now ask all candidates for the baccalaureate degree to please rise. That's undergrads. <laughs> You're not the first group that didn't get it on the first go round, so don't feel bad. President McConnell, I present to you the candidates from the College of Business for the baccalaureate degree. These candidates and their fellows in abstentia have fulfilled the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science in Business Administration at Colorado State University. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, I hereby confer upon each of you the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration degree together with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Let us recognize the achievements of this group of students. Thank you, President Connell. You may be seated. Graduates and guests, this is a formal event, but it's also a joyful one. Please feel free to respectfully cheer and congratulate graduates as their names are called but we ask that you refrain from taking photographs from the floor. A professional photographer will photograph each graduate as they cross the stage and receive their diploma. Will the departmental marshals please escort the undergrads at graduates to the platform? The following students are graduating with a concentration in accounting. Anna Marie Bugosh. Jenna Teresa Maxwell. Benjamin Coleman. Casey Jeffrey Schuster. Brandon Thomas Peters. Preston Young. Cameron Catanese. Christopher Ryan Padilla Romo. Allison Christine Landy. Dana Alexandra Spence. 
Michael Allen Johnson. Kayla Murphy Putchy. Kristen Laura Wiley. Joshua Michael Roller. Alexandra Nicole Lyon. Jacob Derland. The following students are graduating with a concentration in finance. Grant Isaac Erfmeyer. Rachel Lindsay Salucci. Mason Wiest. Samuel Brock Distasio. Chris Nicewanger. Jack Walter Johnson. J.D. Marie Wiedemann. Gabrielle Wild. Eugenia Nathania DeWanti. Jeremy William Ladd. Logan James Howard. Wenzel Vanderver. Nicholas Connor Keen. Stuart Heinz. Harrison Jeffrey Bader. Alex Babu. Luke Paxton Reichert. Hunter Parrish. Devin John Howard. Nicholas Dean Mantell. James Thompson Harkness. Ellie Alexis Green. The following students are graduating with a concentration in financial planning. Madeline Danielle Urbani. The following students are graduating with a concentration in real estate. Jose Lionel Alviar Carvajal. Griffin Heller. The following students are graduating with a concentration in computer information systems. Peter Robert Jurgens. Grayson North. Madison Elizabeth Qualley. Braxton Stott. Matt Thomas. Mitchell Martin Dame. Yeah. 
Stephen Kipp. Nicole Alexandra Stevenson. Richard Lawrence Bailey. Ryan John Toole. Andrew Lawrence Denman. Jack Thomas Lenny. The following students are graduating with a concentration in marketing. Austin Ray Bryant. Anthony Winstead Georges. Sophia Bion. John Samuel Dowdle. J.C. Rosemarie Wyatt. Hannah Victoria Fletcher. Chantal Sierra Kirshner. Chantel Isabella Humphreys. Jana Ray Parks. Kelsey Marie Johnson. Hunter Thomas Punchin. Adeline Kate Morris. Maya Godwin. Aiden Whitworth. Spencer Hayden Story. Maria Valesquez Marin. James Gilliam. Henry Tateshi Salis. Grant Everett Woods. Andre Polero. Casey Marie Daps. Liam Mather. Isaac Vincent Sloan. Tanner Ligon. Aaron Bennett. Olivia Christine Pecoraro. Eleanor Marie Wright. Bryn Ashman Williams. Catherine Maria Pancost. Bryn Ellison Hayden. Mateo Luis Hernandez. Claudia Sofia Porcelli. Natalia Carolina Prusak. Jack Rule. 
Logan Wayne Mostachery. Sarah Rhodes. The following students are graduating with a concentration in organization and innovation management. Lauren Offerman. Jason Richard Burke. Stephanie Ann Keel. Sophia E. Ambrosic. Jasmine Rankin. Ryan Fodamski. Mackenzie Young. Ethan Scott Roan. Hunter St. Clair Haskins. Jason Richard Rock. Bo Armstrong Stamper. Joseph Franco Duca. Jorgen Thomas Mandel. Tessa Whiteman. <laughs> Riley Stephen Nelson. Devin J. Smart. Kareen Watson. Shamsadeen Latona. Jean Philippe Oshmer. The following students are graduating with a concentration in human resource management Morgan Vale Widener. Dylan Anthony Mora. <laughs> Shirley Estelle Morrill Randolph II. <laughs> Raiden Delano Warmus. <laughs> Heaven Isaias Berge. The following students are graduating with a concentration in supply chain management. Bailey Charles Hodges. Trent McClellan Robertson. Kimo Apodaca. Fernanda Payan Villalobos. Aidan Lang Hetler. Kylie Walsh. <laughs> JC Ray Hauer. <laughs> Joshua D. Rudd. <laughs> Kelly Martin Stevens. <laughs> Tamarin Coriel. Mason Diego Cadigan. Elijah Ryan Hubbard. Ashley Taylor Sparks. Aaron Michael Stevens. Priscilla Santiago Dilligan. Daniel Romano Deininger. Perla Evelyn Vargas Lara.
Mm -hmm. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Graduates and guests, President McConnell will now confer the various master's degrees. I now ask all candidates for the master's degree to please rise. President McConnell, I present to you the candidates for Master of Accountancy, Master of Computer Information Systems, Master of Finance, and the Masters of Business Administration. These candidates and their fellows in absentia have completed their programs of study and are recommended by the faculty advisors, the graduate school, and the faculty council for the master's degree. May I ask you to confer the master's degree on them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the Colorado State University System, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree together with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Let us recognize the amazing achievements of this group of students. Please be seated. Would the marshals please escort the graduate students to the platform? The following students are graduating with the Master of Accountancy. Hablina Meldrum. Charlie Madison Chernolowski. The following students are graduating with the Master of Computer Information Systems. Ahmed Mohanad Zinedine. Lauren Ann Quintana. Cole Ryan Kapovic. Vishnu Mohan Virapali. Chelsea Fresquez. Tamara Lynn Bushu. Palka Dahuri. Tara Danielle Schoner. Andrew Ryan Sandstrom. Philip James McMahon. Kerr Chang. Jasper Hall. Ish Guy. Panjali Ravindra Majeshwar. Hina Dogal. Nearly Nanda. Bidu Kak. Yeah. 
Himavarsha Taluri. Kaushik Kumar Srikar Pendra Pragada. Prithika Kote. Chala Santosh Kumar. The following student is graduating with the Master of Finance. Yi Zheng. The following students are graduating with the Master of Business Administration. Michael Vichok. Samuel Edward Foley. Hilary J. Klein. Mikeo Vang. Alexander Andreas Vlahinos. Danny Brown Maldonado. Alexander Foster. Alexander John Willoughby. Jarvis Shuri. Sarah May Christman. Kelly J. Braun. Dagruntina Korteshi. Andrew Edwin Hurd. Daniel Stephen Moses. Kirk William Jones. Elizabeth Carolyn Webster. Alex Bradley. Jose de Jesus Mordes. Joe Marie Nunez. Laura Nicole Soderberg. Colin Gordon. Ashley Nicole Shuey. Kirsten Elizabeth Tepp. Keiko Kanuma. F. Brendan Wilkerson. Casey Marie Duga. Kaylee Brianna Ogden. Eduardo Nelson Hermosilla. Jacob Andrew Meyer. Carla Jean Schwartz. Michael Christian Fritchie. Eugene F. Carafa. Jeremy Michael Brannan. Pativa Sitaram. John Carl Long. William Timothy Johnston. Dorian Gregory Harrell. The following students are graduating from the Impact MBA program. 
Lindsay Giovanna Sisi. Sarah Roeder. Ross David Mazur. Elliot Allen Eddie Miller. Jacob Brookman. Kyle Richard Badelsmith. Idala Rahendra Bhagava. Meredith Noel Burke. Andreas Kumato. Grant Walker Stump. Dustin Robert Spears. Kevin Gordon Von Feltz. Luke Andrew Kirkham. Jacob P. Winkelhake. Trevor Matthew Innes. Christina Vicky Ho. Courtney Alice Labrie. Lauren Besser. Dylan P. Johnston. Alex Klingman. Allison Lee Stouse. Maida Birdwell. Dominic Piazza. Jack A. Thompson. Anne Marie Goss. Leah Catherine Weatherman. Maureen Phoenix. Bailey Arlene Lawrence. Tessa Lapre. Emily Bergman. Gabriel Lauren First. Allison E. Roth. Katie L. Gathright. Allison Hatsumi Guerrero. Julia Tomaszewski. Coralie Pierre. Vida Dixit. Jessica Sue Ran. Larinda Belliru. Caitlin Martinez. Susan Marie Scow. Christian Venero Rivero.
What an exciting day. My name is Bert Dynas, and I'm an alumnus and an instructor in the Department of Management at Colorado State University. And as I was sitting here today, I remember sitting in both places, both towards the front and then towards the back of the auditorium. And I remember feeling very excited about what I've accomplished. I remember feeling a little nervous about, you know, what the next step looked like. And then I also felt a little trepidation about leaving Colorado State University. While I completed both my degrees, um, and I was able to make it back here to teach, I remember feeling just the, a little sentimental about leaving. Hopefully, all of you will be able to stay in touch like I have with the university, with your colleagues. I have friends and family members that I've met through my time here at CSU. Each of you have followed a different path, but whether you stay in Fort Collins or your path takes you to different parts of the world, there's one thing important to remember, that each of you, I, and 35,000 other students that have gone before you have one in thing in common. We are all alumni of the College of Business at Colorado State University. And I'd like to be the first to welcome you to that great family. When you leave this campus today, be assured that the university will not leave you, the college won't leave you. No matter where your personal or professional journey takes you, know that the College of Business, your former professors, and the Alumni Association will be with you every step of the way. On behalf of the Alumni Association, the College of Business, congratulations, job well done, go Rams. Now I think it is appropriate that you are graduating, show your appreciation to a special group who have contributed so much to your achievements that we celebrate today. Will the parents, spouses, partners, family and friends of the graduates please rise and be recognized. Thank you. I want to thank the department marshals, the announcers, the student volunteers, the Colorado Brass Ensemble, Miss Lucy Logan, the Wing Walker Honor Guard, our interpreters for the hearing impaired, and all the others who helped with today's commencement. Will the audience please rise as Ms. Logan leads us in the singing of Colorado State University's alma mater, which is on page one of the online program.
Thank you. Please be, please be seated. Please remain seated as the platform group, faculty, and students depart. Please meet your graduate outside of Moby, uh, Moby Arena following the ceremony. Thank you all for coming this afternoon and, and enjoy a safe celebration. Go Rams!
Mm-hmm.